Hey Pixels, welcome back to part three in this four part tutorial series on how to design and code a drop down menu. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to code the second drop down menu style based on the four drop down menus we designed in XD using a little HTML and a little CSS. If you haven't already, Watch part two on how to code the first drop-down menu style because we'll be modifying the code we wrote in part two of this tutorial. Be sure to follow along because remember, practice makes Excel Pixel perfect. In XD, we can share our design for development to get all the info we need to code our drop-down menu, including colors we used, fonts, font sizes, padding, and more. I've gone ahead and exported the images I needed, including icons and illustrations that I'll need when coding the drop-down menu. In part two, we wrote all the HTML needed to set up the basic structure of our navbar. As a quick overview, our navbar is contained within a header tag and a navbar container div. On the left hand side, we have our logo and on the right hand side, we have our navigation menu. Within our navigation menu, we have some menu links, and then we also have our drop-down menu divided into two columns, drop-down col1 and drop-down col2. In this tutorial and in our HTML file, we're going to code the second drop-down menu style structure within drop-down col1 and drop-down col2. Within the first column of our drop-down menu, we're going to grab all our list items to create a total of nine links. Each list item contains our fancy menu links with icons. We already have the code for our list items, so I'll just copy and paste to create a total of nine menu items. Now that we have our nine menu items, we can modify the second column in our drop-down menu. Within the second column of our drop-down menu, all we need to do is add the illustration, just as we designed it in Adobe XD. If you recall, I already exported all the assets from my design to be used for development. So I'm going to grab the illustration from my images folder and add it to the second column. Believe it or not, that's all we need to do in our HTML file to code the structure of our second drop-down menu style. Now, let's head on over to our CSS file to give it some style. In part two in this four-part tutorial series, we coded all the styles to style our navbar and drop-down menu. Since this is part three and we're styling the second drop-down menu style, we'll only need to modify style that apply to the dropdown and its content. First, let's select the dropdown and set its position to relative. Next, we'll style the dropdown content and add the following styles. For now, I'll comment out display none so that you can better see how all the styles we're applying style the dropdown menu. We'll position the drop-down content absolute and move its position 16 pixels at the top and 50% on the left. We'll also add transform property to further position the drop-down content. Now, we'll select drop-down hover, drop-down content, and add the display flex property. Since the display is flex for our drop-down content, we can align items with the drop-down to the center. I know the drop-down is looking really crazy right now, but as we apply more styles and shrink down the size of the illustration, believe me, our drop-down will look so good. Now we can style the first drop-down menu column, which contains all menu items. If you recall, our first drop-down column essentially is made up of three columns and three rows, which contain our menu items. We can achieve this layout using the amazing power of CSS Grid. Here, let me show you how. 
first, let's set up the grid using the display grid declaration. Next, we're going to use the grid template columns property and set its value to repeat three 200 pixels, which in other words means create three columns that are 200 pixels wide. We'll also set grid template rows to auto. Grid auto calculates the even distribution of our links across the three columns. Now our grid needs some gutter space. So we're going to use the gap property and set its value to one rem. Lastly, we'll remove margin and padding. Below the styles of our first dropdown menu column, I'll copy and paste the CSS we wrote in part two that styled all of our menu items. Now let's style dropdown call two, which is going to be super easy. First, we'll add padding to the left that's two rem. Lastly, we'll set the max width for the illustration in Cole to 316 pixels. I told you it was easy. All that's left to do is uncomment, display none, and voila. Look at how nice this drop down style looks. This menu style is perfect for displaying a lot of menu items in a visually pleasing way. So there you have it. That's how you code the second drop-down menu style with HTML and CSS. That was easy. If you followed along and coded your own version of this drop-down menu, share it with me on social media using the hashtag ExcelPixelPerfect. I'll see you in the next video.